Dive into this segment with breaking inputs coming in as far as the BJP uh, president Mr. J.P. Nadda is concerned. He's filing his nomination from Gandhi Nagar. This is the latest we are bringing to you as far as the Rajya Sabha nomination is concerned of the BJP president. Those are the latest visuals we are bringing to you of Mr. Nadda filing for his Rajya Sabha nomination from the Gandhi Nagar seat in Gujarat. Uh, for more details, let's quickly go across to Payal Payal. How significant is this considering uh, the BJP has uh, decided to uh, elect uh, Mr. Nadda from Gujarat and not Himachal Pradesh where uh, till so far as we know Nadda was currently a Rajya Sabha member from? You know, uh, it's a very interesting thing that has come to the fore given the fact that BJP was not able to win the assembly elections in Himachal Pradesh which essentially meant they did not have the numbers as far as the Himachal Rajya Sabha seat is concerned and that's the reason BJP's national president JP Nadda has been made to contest from uh, the, the safe seat of Gujarat. Of course, Gujarat has four Rajya Sabha seats uh, which are going to be up for elections and BJP is confident of winning all fours as well. So it's a very interesting combination. Now the Home Minister of the country is from Gujarat. The Foreign Affairs Minister is also from Gujarat. The Health Minister is from Gujarat and the party's national president will also come from Gujarat. Of course, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's own base is also from Gujarat as well. But this is a very significant development. Because you know in 2024, in a couple of months, you have the elections that are going to happen. And the party will need JP Nadda's services throughout the time to in fact focus on the party's prospects. So you know that's even though there was one school of thought, you know, Akansha who thought that JP Nadda possibly could be contesting the assembly, uh, the Lok Sabha election. But it would not be fair for him to be able to do that because he will then be focused only on his own seat. But as the party's national president, his services will be required 24 by 7 for the party's uh, work. And that's the reason the party has been of the opinion, the brass of the party has been of the opinion, that Mr. Nadda should be brought to the Rajya Sabha for another term as well. Uh, this is a rare exception because the party generally does not give Rajya Sabha terms for more than two people to people for more than two terms. But one of the few exceptions has been of that late of, of the late Arun Jaitley, Venkaya Naidu and of course Ravi Shankar Prasad among the others as well. So the BJP is very confident that they will be able to get JP Nadda in Rajya Sabha for a very for, for the next six years uh, as they prepare for the 2024 election. So obviously he's filing his nominations just as we speak. He's of course flying by the Gujarat uh, he's also flying by the Gujarat Chief Minister Bhupendra Singh Patel, who is there, uh, along with the CR Patel, the party state president. This is, of course, Harsh Sanghi, the young uh, home minister of the state. And Kaku Bhai, who has been one of the old, oldest organizational hands as well. So, uh, BJP's national president, JP Nadda, doing the, uh, doing the uh, work that has to be done, doing the paperwork that has to be done, he's filing his nomination. He, in fact, had reached Endabad uh, this morning to a rousing welcome and is currently at the collectorate office in Gandhinagar where he's filing his papers. As far as um, you know, Gujarat is concerned, we are also learning that there are three other candidates who, which have been fielded by the BJP in Gujarat. Uh, tell us more about them as well. Well, there are three candidates who have been brought in from various factions. Of course, there's an industrial businessman who's come in from the state of Surat. Uh, he is said to be a Leva Patel in that constituency. Uh, another person who's been nominated is from the Adivasi community and somebody who's been brought in from the OPC community as well. So, BJP making those nominations very, very significant because eventually it boils down to which representation you give there and what representation do I come from, or come from. So the OBC community representation is very, very significant given the fact that the party has spoken about the focus on the OBC, something that has been at the line of attack of the opposition party. But yes, Nadda, who is not a Gujarati, he is essentially from Himachal Pradesh being brought here. Normally, again, the trend of the BJP has been this, Akansha, that whenever you have a Rajya Sabha seat vacancy, the first preference is already always given to somebody who hails from that same state. Mm. But since the occasion is such that JP Nadda cannot be left out of parliament, he's the party's national president. You have the big Lok Sabha elections taking place in the next couple of months. The party will need his services as a party's president and also need his services in the parliament. And that's the reason that it really happens. So obviously, a lot of smiles around as you see those visuals on your screen. CR Patil, you know, along flank by the other leaders who are in fact going to be filing the nomination also by JP Nadda's side. So, uh, uh, it, it, it happens station as far as the BJP is concerned. Now, like I said, that you know, the top brass of the BJP seems to be from the state of Gujarat. Prime Minister Modi's base is Gujarat. That is where he comes from. Even if he is currently a member of parliament from the uh, from from the state of Uttar Pradesh, but Jay Shankar, Amit Shah, Mansukh Mandavia, and he he has been located by Mansukh Mandavia and Kusum Rupala among the others, who are sitting ministers in the Modi government. It clearly gives a signal a signal that uh, these two ministers, Kusum Rupala and of course Mansukh Mandavia, will be asked to contest the Lok Sabha elections in the upcoming month. All right, uh, some very interesting developments happening over there. Many thanks to you, Payal, for bringing in all those inputs. Indeed, a big day as far as uh, the BJP is concerned. We just saw the BJP president filing his election nomination from the Gandhi Nagar.